after half a lifetime of early starts and a few fly years that made you money, you finally softened round the edges and eased back prosperous into your chair. It's there in our mother's place, a threadbare seat of judgment battered in the mayhem of a clattery open house. It's wrecked guts sagging, it's two armrests coming adrift. And fixed immovably in that still centre, you watch the racing on TV, shushed out our conversations as Michael O'Hare's gavel of names stampeded to its climax. Another windfall or a better prize? To know you are flush enough for losers not to matter. In a different country to have attained a gruff serenity. That chair has hoarded the words you uttered and releasing them at times, as we make our late decisions, can fill up a room with some cagey, warm, and toil-inflected phrase. Your chair is true north on a map of memory, and points out paths, the sanctioned way still worth your approbation, the cuteness implied in whatever would your father have thought? Mm -hmm.